Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I'm here with a comparison. Now, our last video, we did pouring through a funnel. Just a plain old household funnel. This is actually a kitchen funnel that's no longer going in the kitchen. But I said something about you maybe trying to use a plastic cup with the hole popped into the bottom. So here we have that hole popped in the bottom. I'm going to show you really quick how to use an awl with one of these plastic cups to make a funnel. Well, at least something I hope will work like a funnel. We're going to test this out. Stick around. We're going to make a cup funnel. I've made two cup funnels. I have not poured through them yet, but this is a test to see how well a cup funnel is going to work. I have a nine ounce plastic cup. It came in a bulk pack and the information for the cups is down below in the more information box. I have a sharp poking tool. You could use a big safety pin, a really sharp pointed needle, a big like big rug sewing needle, or um, you could probably even start with a drill bit and sort of swirl it back and forth between your fingers. I'm not doing that. I'm using the sharp poking awl and I am not being perfect on my lining up. I'm just going, that's about center. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And I am just going to poke through, working it back and forth. You see how my hand is working back and forth. My fingers are way out of the way of the poking tool. I want to work it all the way down the shaft couple times just to make sure that it's the same size as the shaft. So now we have a small hole right there with that nub on the outside just like a funnel. And now I'm going to take a Phillips head or star head type screwdriver, something that's got a bit of a point to it, and I'm going to line that up on the hole and I'm going to just twirl it a little bit. Work it back, sort of in a rotating motion, keeping my hands again back out of the way. Pushing, I'm applying pressure forward. I'm pushing it forward into the hole and working it back and forth. This would work with a shorter screwdriver also. This just happened to be the screwdriver I had. Whoop, there we go. Now, you want to work this back out of the hole Carefully, you don't want to pull really fast because it may end up pulling the that little nub, that little collar of plastic back inside. We don't want that. We want it on the outside so that way the paint isn't going to get caught on that. The bottom of this cup is a little bit concave, so the paint is going you're going to lose a little bit of paint around the edges unless you sit there at the end and swirl which isn't as satisfactory in paint delivery. All right, get ready to meet me at the painting table. All right, so these are the paints we're going to use. We have the Shocking Pink, Tangelo Orange, Olympic Blue, Marshmallow White, and Electric Yellow. They've all been mixed 10 parts pouring medium to one part paint. And this is the Arteza Outdoor Acrylic Colors. It is self-sealing and oh my gosh, it works awesome for making beautiful smooth pours. Now, when you are using these cups, I reuse my cups many times before I ever think about throwing them away. That's a way to save money while you're creating fun and beautiful art that you could possibly sell or give as gifts. Another tip is to always reuse your pretty little wood sticks. I buy about a, a pack of a hundred wood sticks um, once a year and I will use those all year long. I just pull them out and use them again. You can wash these off but then you're putting paint down the drain and I really don't like doing that very much. The same with my cups. I might wipe them out if I think about it but most of the time I just let them dry. Let's get started getting this all set up to go. Oh, one more trick. These cups don't come with lids, but you can get press and seal and seal your cups right up with the press and seal. And then you can pull it off when you need 
to do some more painting. First up on the pour, we are going to get white on the background. I want to keep this painting nice and bright. So again, this is just 10 parts pouring medium, one part paint, and I use the deco art pouring medium because it gives cells <laughs> without having to add anything extra to it. So there we go. You know, I'm not putting it on perfectly smooth. If there's a little texture, it's probably going to work off anyway. But I just wanted some paint on here to let this flow. You saw in the video, I made three of these. So I've got, I've got ones to play with. You've got the hole in the bottom. You're going to set your finger right over the hole and hold the cup upright. And then I think I'm going to pour some blue in the bottom. We're just going to do this. I might drop a couple puddles of these colors. Let's see. Then I think I will put white and then yellow. And then pink. Oh, this makes such pretty colors. And then I'm going to drop a bit of that orange on there. And a bit more yellow. <laughs> I'm just stacking it up. Look at how pretty that is in the cup. And yeah, maybe a little more white. I like it when the white sort of separates the colors a little bit. So we're going to do this where I'm going to take my finger off, let it just pour in a section and then slip my finger back in underneath <laughs> and see what happens. So one, two, three. Oh, that's actually going to be really nice. One, two, three. And then it's like getting little tree rings and being able to drop my finger in underneath of it. Oh, that actually is a lot nicer for getting a tree ring type of thing. I'm hoping that this ends up looking like a bunch of agates. And I may regret having put all of that orange in there. But we'll see. Whoa, I started wandering. Now it's getting where there's less pressure of the paint in there. And so it's not pouring through the hole as well. So I'm getting this drip, 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 drip now. Oh, look at the inside of that. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to just sort of let it dribble out. Actually, I think what we'll do now is we're going to take and just do a dirty pour in betweens. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go dirty pour ribbon and a dirty pour ribbon. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. So now <laughs> we're going to, we're going to try and see what happens. So I'm tipping to one direction. down to the bottom, trying to not really mess with it too much. I want to get it going both directions first, side to side.
without twisting it too much. I, I kind of was holding it in an angle, I guess. So now I'm going to let it come back. Oh, this is cool. Now we're going to tip it. Across. Oh, I guess I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Look at that. We're just going to see what happens now. There's a lot of paint on here. Um, because we put that layer of paint on the bottom first. And I had some folks say that they wouldn't mind watching it in real time. So I'm going to let this go in real time this time. So come on, baby. Light that fire down here to the bottom. Okay. Woo -hoo. And now down towards the bottom this way. Oh, these are looking so pretty. These colors are amazing. It really looks like, uh, let's see, rainbow eucalyptus. Have you ever seen rainbow eucalyptus trees? Oh my gosh, they are a kaleidoscope of color. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is looking amazing. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we're going to let this dry. I will come back and show you what it looks like in a flash. All right, guys, we're back. And look, it is 100% dry. This painting turned out beautiful. It really does look like that rainbow eucalyptus. I am so, so stoked about that. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. I plan on always making videos here on YouTube that are 100% free to everybody. If you are interested in helping me out, I do have a Patreon that is in a soft opening right now. I am just barely starting it, but I do have my Patreon link down below in the more information box if you are interested in supporting me there. I also have fun images and merchandise on my Teespring store and my Redbubble. So check those out if you're interested, and I am starting to update the store on my website and the link is actually working now it wasn't working a few days ago my website wasn't working a few days ago it's back now and so excited remember to share 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 that's always a way to support my channel and as always i am trying to bring fun creative energy into your life look at this all that energy <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and remember to go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. Oh, and look at this. It The pink paint is actually fluorescent, and it glows. Look at the rivers of light going through here. It's so pretty. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.